Hello, I have missed you guys so much. Um, I'm so sorry I have not made a video in an entire month. Actually, okay, take that back. I've made videos, I just didn't upload them. <laughs> like, I don't know, I re-watched them and I'm like, man, I sound so depressing and hopeless and I don't want to upload this. <laughs> so I, yeah, I wasn't really doing so great for a while. Um, but I have been doing really, 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 really amazingly awesome um, the last week. It's just been a complete turnaround, um, and I think it's something that's definitely going to stick. So I'm really happy about that. Um, you might be wondering what changed and what caused this change. And to be honest, I don't really know exactly how I can explain it. And I don't know how to say this right, so I'm just going to try. So I've been researching stuff and watching doc documentaries this past month because I have Netflix and I'm like, oh cool, documentaries, and I end up watching them. Um, and there's a lot of like nutritional ones that I watched. Um, and it was really interesting in a not eating disordered way. <laughs> it actually really gave me the desire to treat my body with kindness and to feed it and give it nu good nutrition. Because there's like these documentaries about um, just kind of what we put into our food, like processed stuff and like um, what's good in food, like the vitamins and the minerals and just how it nourishes our body. And I was watching it and I'm like, I really want to nourish my body. I really want to treat it with kindness. And I just kind of had this compassion all of a sudden for my body as if it was someone else who was hurting and starving instead of me. Like I kind of was able to separate that and be like, this person needs help. <laughs> they need nutrition. <laughs> so um, I started just researching it more and my eating disorder it's like my eating disorder wasn't allowing me to have anything really my safe foods were like this much and even then like an apple wasn't safe anymore like nothing was really safe I couldn't keep anything down I was purging at least six times a day at least and it became normal like I was depressed because it became just normal for me I didn't feel guilty about it anymore I didn't feel like oh my gosh I threw up six times today it was just this is how it is. And I think I just, I was really like hopeless. <laughs> so um, when I started researching this, I was, I don't know, I just, it was really great. And I started also researching like animal cruelty and just, I don't know, just a lot. And it was really good for me actually. So, sorry. Um, so I have become vegan. <laughs> And before the little red flags pop up and you're like, oh no, okay, for most people, maybe vegan looks like a restrictive diet because yes, you're not having poultry, fish, um, animal products like dairy, cheese, eggs, honey. Um, so yeah, in a way it might look restrictive, but it's actually amazing since I've started this. I can eat so many different foods now. It's like my eating disorder was allowing me to eat this much, but veganism is allowing me to eat like this much. Like, and I, I keep finding new foods that I can eat and I'm like so happy about it. Um, but yeah, I st I've started doing that mostly. Um, it's Veganism isn't fueled by my eating disorder. It's really fueled by my desire to treat my body with kindness and to take care of it. So, um, I have really good accountability and support and I've talked about it with my therapist and you know let her know like what do you think about this um, and she thinks it's great <laughs> because okay guys drum roll yeah this was my in the air drum roll you can kind of hear it right okay I'm a dark anyway um, I have not I have not binged or purged or restricted or self-harmed, I haven't had any behaviors, like zip, like none, not even like a tiny bit, since I started eating vegan, which was today's day six. So, 
holy, do you guys realize how big this is for me? Do you understand, like, this is huge. This is huge for me. I mean, going from purging at least six times a day to none at all, like, that's only something I dreamt of. It's only something I thought possible if I went back to inpatient because the only time I have been this behavior free was inpatient because I was kind of forced to be and I had a tube down my throat. So throwing up was kind of hard. So um, that's the only time I have gone behavior free this long, even in residential for two months. When I was residential for two months, I still had behaviors every few days, if not every day. Um, and since I've been home, I've pretty much had some kind of behavior restricting or binging or purging or over-exercising every day. Maybe I've had a few behavior-free days in the last, what, eight months <laughs> or something. So this is like huge. Six days in a freaking row, I'm on fire. Just saying. Uh, me and Katniss have a lot in common, if you guys know about the Hunger Games. Which I'm really excited about, guys. That's why I'm talking about Katniss, because I love the Hunger Games books, and it's coming out next week, and I'm so excited. I'm going to go see the movie, and I'm like, ah! Anyway, okay, yes, I'm a little fangirly right now, but whatever. Um, so anyway, I'm so happy. I, You have no idea. I'm so happy. I've been eating every two hours since Tuesday. Every freaking two hours. Yeah. Yeah and keeping it crazy and I haven't it's not like I've only been eating like vegetables and fruit no I've been eating granola I've been eating lots of nuts almond butter I've been there's so many foods you can eat like so many foods you can eat as a vegan um, it's just amazing and I've increased my calories by like <laughs> I've like quadrupled the amount of calories I'm having like I'm having 2,000 a day and you guys have to understand like I feel like I'm a little scared because it, it happened really fast like I'm like wait ah, I'm increasing calories too fast but I've been really listening to my body and if I'm hungry um, I'll give it something and it's funny because I'll go like two hours and say it's like two hours and a half or three hours I'll start dry heaving and getting really nauseous like because I'm that like all of a sudden like I'm that hungry and I'm like why am I like so hungry I just ate and I'll look at the time and I'm like oh it's because it's been three hours and I'm my body is getting used to eating every two hours so yeah it's been great I have more energy um, I just feel better about my body and what I'm feeding it um, I'm just I just feel better um, I was so social this weekend. I was, I'm going to go hang out with another friend like today and I've been hanging out with people all weekend and I've actually looked forward to it and enjoyed being social. Like before when I was in the middle of my eating disorder, I wasn't looking forward to being social. In fact, I kind of resented people for taking time away from me being by myself with my eating disorder. I'm like, I just want to be alone so I can be alone with Ed. And we can make love. Okay, that was awkward. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, I'm doing good. And I'm really happy. I'm really happy, guys. And I'm really happy that I can come here and tell you guys I'm doing well. And, you know, I didn't have any hope before, and now I do. And I'm making new friends. Um, and I'm hanging out with new people. And... I just, I have hope, and it's something that I lost, and now I have it again. It's just beautiful. So, I just wanted to let you guys know how I'm doing. Um, so, you guys know I haven't dropped off the face of the planet completely. I have been blogging um, pretty much every day or every other day. So, if I'm not making a video, check out my blog. If you're like, what the heck, is she still alive? Yes, I'm still alive. Um, and yeah, I will be, I'll make another video maybe Tuesday um, and maybe I'll make another diary video today but yeah I hope this wasn't too boring I'm just I'm so happy right now so happy I'm glad this is working out so anyway love you guys I will get back to you guys eventually I'm sorry I'm taking forever but love you bye